Hi guys, this is Rimmer, aka the cat, and today I bring to you an overkill game where you're gonna quickly start seeing a trend, and let's see if you spot it. Oh, hi, person who didn't come to the courtyard. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be one of those games. And I have that team. You know that team. That's right. That team that doesn't come to courtyard. It really sucks having that team. So basically... Well, right now I'm just gonna try to encourage them to actually come there. Up! Up! I'm just gonna be kind of yelling for them to come and... Amun is also gonna do that. But you see, look at the, the yellow triangle. And yeah, he, he ran away before he even got damaged. And the other guy, the racketic guy, he didn't even try to come. So, right now, the reason I'm sitting up here is because I'm pissed off. And I just wanna, like, let these two die and then run around being a douche so that... They can see what it feels like to have to wait in spectator for like 10 minutes. I do take a few pot shots still, but... Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's because I'm raging or what, but I'm missing some not too hard shots as well. That's gonna happen a lot this game too. But you might be wondering, what do you do when you're on that team? And unfortunately, if you can't beat them, you kinda have to join them. And you have to play the plus back style. And what tactic are we using? Well... <sighs> I would be going to courtyard. Actually, I'm I'm still trying to encourage them to go there. And it's gonna seem like it works for a while, actually. But eventually, it's just gonna get unbearable. They're all downstairs. So what is this strategy? Well, it's it's actually got a name. It's called baiting. And uh, what baiting is, is that you use your weaker teammates as bait. So yeah, it's kind of literally what it sounds like. And it's considered a very rude strategy, but if, uh, if you have a team that already camps, well, th they get no right to complain, really. So, what you do is... You watch for teammates shooting enemies, and... While you're waiting to find someone, you just hide, basically. And then you shoot those enemies in the back or in the flanks, and the moment they start looking at you, you run away. You don't try to pick fights, you just run. Like I did there. Though, actually, I did kind of try to rail him there and I probably shouldn't have have done that because he was spamming and walking into spam is pretty unnecessary round begins in three two one fight. so again I'm feeling kind of alone here but as you saw the enemies were actually in that other room I should probably try to figure out what that room is called, but, uh, so, if the enemies are there, and then you might as well go to Courtyard, because that's the stronger uh, position to be in, and I don't know why I got let myself get hit by that, that was stupid. But now I'm low, and I kind of have to run around a bit. So what do you do when you're low? Well, you don't pick fights. Not even railgun fights. You just want to try to shoot opponents in the back or in the flank. 
which is what I'm doing anyway, so whatever. And uh, you saw there at first when I did the, this jumping trick, he LG'd me, and that was because I was impatient and did it before I knew he was not looking. You should. I should have waited until I knew that he was firing at a teammate or something similar. Then he wouldn't have LG'd me. That was very risky of me. And again, you saw yellow triangles on that other in that other room, that camp room. You know the one. And I actually missed an opportunity there, I could have railed him. But, uh... I had just decided to rocket jump up, so yeah. But here I managed to rail him twice, which is really good. I might have a chance to win. I think he's low, so I'm basically gonna try to ch shotgun him. But, uh, surprise, surprise, there's two enemies. But luckily, you saw, you heard that noise, I actually hit an almost full damage uh, shotgun, so... And he, for some reason, tried to rail me instead of shotgun me, so I managed to win that. And that was pretty much pure luck. But that win was very important. Because now we... We're leading by two rounds, which is... Uh, not what I had expected by this point. And here you saw it started out really well but all my mates jumped down to the bottom and you don't usually want to do that because uh, if you do do that then your enemies might be able to take top. There are s sometimes situations where you want to jump down but very rarely to the bottom. Usually if you want to jump down you want to jump down to the mid this area where I'm standing right now because this position is also pretty strong and I know he's low so I'm just gonna shotgun him but uh, I'm low okay actually he Mongo managed to rail him which is cool yeah we've got f five players here and uh, they got Bertha and Bertha does somewhat better than Mongo even though Mongo can sometimes play very well, but he's not usually one of the best players on the server. So now we're in a 5-2 lead and you're gonna see soon it's not gonna last. Also you saw that Sternks guy make a very big mistake there, he tried to grenade, no, I think he tried to rail me there actually. And there was no reason for him to do that. In normal clan arena you'll see players use uh, suboptimal weapons sometimes and that's because of the reload time. But this is PQL and uh, actually I meant it was because of the weapon switch time. But PQL doesn't have weapon switch time. Weapon switch time is literally zero. So there's no reason not to switch weapons. Not ever. If you have the wrong weapon out, just switch. But he didn't, so I managed to hit like full damage with the lightning gun on him. Of course, it didn't make a difference, but still. And right now I'm waiting for railgun opportunities, you saw there. And, uh... The way to find those uh, railgun opportunities without getting hit by spam is to just use your ears. You'll see some people not use headphones, but if you use headphones and you just listen, you you can hear if uh, the opponents are jumping somewhere else, if they're shooting at your position or somewhere else. And by that you'll be able to figure out are they looking in your general direction or are they looking somewhere else. And at this point, point, I give up, by the way. <laughs> okay, fuck this. I'm ju gonna just camp now. And at this point, you're gonna see me go into full baiting mode. I'm just gonna basically sit there and use my teammates as fodder. Or at least try. 
sometimes I'll use my patience, uh, lose my patience, but we've lost three games in a row right now, or three rounds, I should say. And I'm thinking this might become a clean sweep unless I uh, switch strategies. And here, I'm basically. If if I see like teammates teammates go to that position, I'm gonna try to hit some rails. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hide. And there, I hit some very very bad accuracies, and that cost me. Now we've lost. What is it? Four, four games in a row? Four matches? Uh, rounds? <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, I, I, I type English well, but for some reason I just can't speak it. I guess I don't do it enough, but uh, I'm Swedish, can you really blame me? And uh, as you can see, I was dodging around that little block there, because... Uh, I don't like picking railgun duels even if I know th that the opponent is not very good with a railgun because sometimes you just miss all your shots and the opponents get lucky. It's a lot better to just, if you manage to hit, just run away with your stack. Don't get hit and uh, at that point you should be able to either flank them and hit them with a rail from the side or you could, uh, you could uh, actually win them uh, win the close range battle and I'm, I'm in full try hard, hard mode right now I'm trying to win and I I managed to do that by picking the strongest po position and just waiting and uh, baiting him to try to come up and I don't know why I missed that first shot but there you go so yeah now I actually see it. there's a lot of people here, so of course I take this position again, try to hit some rails, and I hit a decent one, and I... That might have been a double rail, but no, it wasn't actually. But it, I made a very good trade there. And uh, I, the reason I didn't run through there is because I was thinking I would get hit by either by spam or by... Railgun shot, that might have been a mistake actually. Yeah, that didn't work. Sometimes you get lucky, that's why I still try to win even those hopeless situations. And look, he's just standing there. I'm just... what the hell. But it ended up going very well because for some reason Ekta just ran into the middle of, like, four of us. <laughs> Sternx is raging at me <laughs> and yeah always always take those opportunities to hit an enemy that is shooting at your teammate even if you're not doing the baiting strategy if if there is already already one of those situations going on you might as well because it's free damage you're not gonna take any yourself so there's no reason at all whatsoever not to and now it's 7 versus 7 I'm thinking hey we might actually win this so, yeah. One rail, two rails, three rails. So I'm thinking, yeah, this this is going really well, and I made a mistake there. I actually heard that rocket going coming, but I didn't react to it, so I kind of walked into it. I shouldn't have done that. Those, you might think it wasn't really that much damage, but it it does add up, and it. If you manage to avoid uh, those tiny situations, or whatchamacallit, it will make a difference in your overall gameplay. You will score more, you will win more. 
So you should keep those little situations in mind where you make tiny mistakes and try to not to do them in the future. But this round so far has gone really, really well. And right now... I'm just trying to rail this guy, but I'm thinking my teammates might finish him off, but... Apparently... And that actually... That looked like it went right through on my screen as well, so I was really confused there, but... It doesn't matter. Four versus one, they will... Unless your teammates do something really stupid, or or you do something really stupid, you're probably gonna win, even if you're all low. And yeah, I... I was kinda stupid here. Missed two close quarters shotgun shots, that was... This round I played so badly. <laughs> he, he damaged me so much. And yeah, he's laughing about it in the chat too. That was entirely my fault. Last and that did cost us. I'm thinking, hey, maybe I might still win. I hit so much here, but it's not gonna last. <laughs> but I did manage to kill two of them, so I'm not ready to give up. But as you can see here, I ran right into an enemy and he hits me with a direct rocket, so I should have... I might have still won that if I had played a bit more carefully and tried to catch them off guard, but I got caught off guard instead. And I missed a really easy rail there. And that, that little rail, it did actually cost us. And it's often a bad idea to pick this kind of fight because... I knew I was the only one he would have been aiming for, so it's a gamble, and I lost that gamble, I got railed. I did manage to catch, catch these two off guard, so that's something, but unfortunately I quickly find myself alone because my mates died. And of course MTO is left and he's their MVP. So yeah. So I'm thinking we're pretty much screwed right now, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna give up. I'm still gonna tr try to win this because this is my try-hard account. <laughs> and I might have forgotten to say this, but yeah, the map rotation this month is awful. There are no good clan arena maps. <laughs> so yeah. Either play premium or don't play at all. Well, I could hope for an invite, but I don't accept friend requests on Dagon because, of course, I don't want those messages to appear in my videos. So, cat it is. But so far, so good. We've got three pretty well stacked players left. Well, it's two now, but I'm thinking we've still got this. And MTO makes a huge mistake, and he jumps down. I don't know why he did that, maybe he thought Amun was the only guy left, but I was there too. So yeah, he should have stayed up there. He might have won, if he managed to like hit good rails. So yeah, this strategy is boring, but sometimes you just don't have a choice because the alternative is going upstairs and getting ganked. But you do you do want to try at least a few rounds to just encourage your team to go there. But if you do give up, have the courtesy to actually... Yeah, this was a massive mistake and I, I, I thought there that I just screwed up and lost us the game. But anyway, you you want to tell your teammates if you're gonna start camping, just as a courtesy so they'll know. But right here, for some reason, the enemy just ran in here like lemmings, one by one, into three of, three of us, and that won us the game, so yeah, GG. 
or BG. It's kind of sucked actually. Red wins.